Today, I made a team of NFL busts. There's guys like Johnny Manziel, Ryan Leaf, Trent Richardson, Charles Rogers, Vernon Golston, and arguably the biggest bust of all time, Jamarcus Russell. But I went through every article I could find about the biggest bust and went through a ton of drafts on Pro Football Focus to see like who was drafted high and just like didn't work out. But what I will say is in the comments of this video, I want you to let me know who I forgot. Basically tell me all the things I did wrong because I would love to do this video again because I I even know that there's guys I left out. Like for example, let's look at the quarterback position. We have Jamarcus Russell, Johnny Manziel, and Ryan Leaf. But also I included like the recent high draft pick quarterbacks that just like didn't work out. So like Zach Wilson went number two overall to the Jets. Speaking of the Jets, Sam Darnold went number three overall to them a few years earlier. Mariota and Winston also went like one and two in their draft class. You could argue there's almost none worse than Mitch Trubisky considering the Bears traded up a lot to get him and Patrick Mahomes would have been available for free basically. But yeah, we're obviously gonna check out the whole team, but afterwards, let me know in the comments who you would like to see in like a part two of this video. Guys like Vince Young, Matt Liner, like they were stars in college. Man, I would love to play with them to be honest. So let me know in the comments. And also while you're at it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I just posted a super fun video like using the Apple Vision Pro last week. So if you haven't watched that yet, go check it out after this. I may have spent like $4,000 to make that video. So please go watch it and let's check out the rest of this team. So at the running back position, we have Trent Richardson, who was a beast for a year and then was traded to the Colts and only played like four years total in the NFL after being drafted number three overall. Now, Eddie Lacy was a second round pick, so it's a little debatable whether he's like a bust technically, but he had like three killer years and then just ballooned up in size, which is why he's like 400 pounds in this build, just because I thought it'd be funny, to be honest, which reminds me actually, the way I got the ratings for all these players was I went on like the Madden ratings Weebly and like looked at their ratings like in every year that they were in Madden and then tried to create like an average of that number. Number. So like Trent Richardson was like an 83, then an 87, then an 80. Then he dropped down into the 70s for his last two years. So I thought like an 80 was a good average number of that. Madden also considers like bad players in like the 60s to 70s range. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you think I got anyone super wrong. And then lastly, at running back, we have Kajana Carter, who was the number one overall pick for the Bengals in like the 95 draft. He played for like seven years and had a total of like a thousand rushing yards. This is why running backs don't go number one overall. So yeah, our receiver will try to speed this up just a little bit. We have a ton of guys. Sammy Watkins went number four overall to the Bills. He has played for nine years, but in a draft class with Mike Evans and Odell Beckham, he was just not worth the number four overall pick. And then probably the biggest receiver bust of all time, Charles Rogers. He went number two overall to the Lions in the 03 draft. Unfortunately, a pick before Andre Johnson, who is now becoming a Hall of Famer this year. And yeah, there's a bunch of other guys like Kevin White, Justin Blackman, Corey Coleman actually went to the Browns in the same draft that Tyree Kill was drafted. And also Josh Gordon, who wasn't a high overall pick, but I think it's safe to say he had insane potential that if he could have just stayed out of his own way and avoided off field trouble, he could have been a star for a very long time. Offensive lineman is another position group that like notoriously does not have a high hit rate. So we have Mekhi Becton, Greg Robinson, Tony Mandarich, Evan Neal, Matt Khalil, Isaiah Wilson, who I think played like one game ever for the Titans, Alex Leatherwood, Jeff Ota, and Luke Jokel. For the line, I wasn't really concerned like which position they actually played. Like Tony Mandarich wasn't a center, but to me, it was more important to have like the biggest lineman busts all be on this team. Defensively, we have Steve Edmond and Courtney Brown, as well as Gaines Adams and Derek Harvey. At D tackle, we have Sheldon Richardson, Solomon Thomas, who was like the third overall pick, if I remember right. Now at linebacker, we have back-to-back -back Jets players, ironically, both from Ohio State, in Darren Lee and Vernon Golston, who still haunts my nightmares. At corner, we have another Jets legend, D Milner. We also have Eli Apple, Mo Claiborne, Justin Gilbert was another Browns draft pick. Safety was a hard one to try to find like true busts for. Like Calvin Pryor was definitely a bust. And Laurent Landry's like a little bit of a stretch. He was taken like sixth overall by Washington and had like an okay career. I figured he kind of didn't live up to the sixth overall pick in the draft. Speaking of Washington, in 1966, they picked Charlie Gogolak, I think. I'm not really positive about that. Sixth overall in the first round. What are you doing taking a kicker in the first round, Washington? And at punter Russell XL Ben, he was taken 11th overall by the same in 1979. Again, why are you taking a punter that high in the draft? Welcome to the team, I guess. So yeah, we'll play a little bit with this team because I do want to try out all three quarterbacks to see which one we should have for the season. But don't worry, I have seen your comments. I know a lot of people don't like when I actually jump in and play because they would rather I just sim and kind of see how the team does on their own. Ooh, Kyle Brady cannot catch that. Which is kind of funny to me because like there's another group of people who also hate when I uh, sim but don't play. 
way. So I honestly just try to appease both crowds while we don't actually get it. Maybe if he was a little bit heavier, he could have pushed his way through. So yeah, we'll play a little bit and then kind of let the sim do its thing. Just because like I always try to appease both crowds and like, ooh, can that be a pick? Unfortunately not. But yeah, I like to try to make uh, both sides happy and do a mix of like simming and playing in different videos. I'm just one guy trying to make it all work, doing my best out here. But yeah, with this uh, offensive performance, I uh, don't think, come on, you got to catch that. I was going to say, I don't think I can blame you for uh, getting mad that I actually play. Why is no one catching the ball? Can we stop him again? Oh, we can. Darren Lee. Okay. And they're going for it on fourth down and we get the stop. Defense is really holding up their end of the bargain here. But can we do anything offensively? Okay, Trent Richardson. There we go. I'm going to give Jamarcus Russell a quarter and then we're going to go to Johnny Manziel. But uh, Trent Richardson is uh, starting to come alive. And here we go again with another big gain there. Feels like a uh, passing uh, defense here. Yep, there we go. First down to Charles Rogers. But let's see if they can punch it in here. I'm going to throw to Richardson. Ah, so close to the first. You know what? Against my better judgment, we'll take our field goal because we have a first round kicker. So might as well use him for something. So the defense did pretty well when I was controlling him, but let's see what happens with the CPU. It's third down now and force another stop, which means it's time for Money Manziel to get into the game. He is a lower overall than uh, Jamarcus Russell, but I am interested to see what he can do, which was apparently nothing. And they ran the kick back to the three and score with T Higgins. You know, I want to get like one drive with him just because like Johnny football at Texas A&M was such a fun player. All right, we actually gain a first down here this time. But yeah, as is the case with a lot of these busts, they just can't stay out of their own way. And they either get in like some off field trouble or like don't commit enough to be good at the next level. But yeah, it is a bit unfortunate because some of these guys were really fun to watch in college. Jumping in uh, late fourth quarter now, there's like two minutes left. And wow, Charles Rogers actually caught it. Ryan Leaf is in at quarterback. We're going to throw it quick to Josh Gordon there. But let's see if we can do anything here on third down. I have Josh Gordon. Yeah, they're going to need this touchdown before for the two minute warning. Okay, they get it. And let's try for the two point. Josh Gordon again, he's got it. So they got three timeouts. Let's see what they can do here on defense. We're gonna sim the rest of the way through. I mean, if they get this stop, they're gonna have a lot of time left. Ooh, please don't get the first down. Okay, so can Ryan Leaf get it done down by eight? With a 142 left, you really can't check it down. Get out of bounds at least. They uh, gotta throw the ball deeper downfield. Okay, there's one to Josh Gordon. Who's gonna score. No way. Ryan Leaf to Josh Gordon. I mean, they still need the two point conversion to tie this game up and it comes down to this. Oh, and they get a flag. So they're going to get a second shot at it and they don't get it. So that'll be the game. 19 to 17. The team of bus lose. I mean, honestly, a really good comeback by Ryan Leaf. I think he's just too low of an overall to actually like give him the starting role over Jamarcus Russell. So you know what? We'll stick with him and Sim to the playoffs. Okay, I actually stopped at week 18 because we are somehow nine and seven and tied with the Ravens for second place in the division. Yeah, currently we're in the playoffs. So let's sim ahead and hopefully we win and make it to the playoffs. And we don't. We finish with the same record as the Ravens and miss the playoffs. The Jets got the seven seed. And yeah, that 10th win would have put us in the playoffs. That is tough. But let's check out the season stats that got us to this record. So Jamarcus Russell had 36 600 yards, 32 touchdowns, and 12 picks. Kind of mid, but not a bad year for him. Trent Richardson had 1,400 yards and six touchdowns. Eddie Lacy had seven touchdowns, not that many yards. Receiving, Josh Gordon went over 1,000 and 12 touchdowns. Good year from him. Nikhil Harry had 903. Kyle Brady had 11 touchdowns, which is very surprising. I mean, we did use the Atlanta playbook, so maybe there's a factor there since that offense has Kyle Pitts. But yeah, 628 and two touchdowns from Charles Rogers. And OJ Howard even had two touchdowns. But let's see defensively. Yeah, must have just not been enough pressure. Four sacks for Courtney Brown and one for the Boz, Darren Lee, Steve Etman, Solomon Thomas, and Derek Harvey and Aaron Maben. Vernon Golston played another year and still did not get a full sack. And let's see picks. Eli Apple had four. Boz had two. Darren Lee had two. Leron Landry had two as well. And Vernon Golston got a pick, so there's something for him. But yeah, we had the 10th ranked offense, but 27th ranked defense. If the D was just a bit better, they could have made the playoffs. And in the Super Bowl, it's the Cowboys versus the Bengals. And let's see what Dallas does. Down by fourth, about four minutes left. Wow, he throws a pick. Dak. 
just throwing the game away. If Burrow gets the first down here, they uh, will ice this game and Joe Mixon's gone. So the Bengals win 24-20 over the Cowboys. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. Joe Burrow gets his first. The team of bust performed way better than I thought they ever would have. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't yet watched it, click the video right here to watch me playing Madden with the Apple Vision Pro. And of course, subscribe, hit the like button, help us reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. And with all that said, I'll see you guys next time. Be good people. Oh, hey, you're still here, which is great because I can tell you about the sponsor of today's video, manscaped.com. Look, I talk about it all the time. I really do love these products and use them in my daily routine, especially the new beard hedger because it has 20 different hair cutting lengths with a zoom wheel that only uses one guard, which is great because I can keep the sides of my face the exact length I want them. The kit also includes dermatologist tested beard care products like shampoo, conditioner, beard balm, and oil, beard brush, comb, and scissors. So join the over 10 million people worldwide who trust Manscaped and head over to manscaped.com today to get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use my code WEEDGE20 at checkout. So thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you guys next time.